Okay, so you have to hit got it. All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, it is I, <laughs> Lady Amy Mitchell of Houses of Windsor, here with Lady Nancy Rodriguez of Cup and Crown. So, yes. Hello. hello. We're back for Tea Across the Miles. Hello, oh my God. Nancy. And it has been what? We haven't done this, what, May? We yeah, I guess you're right. We did, well, I think, didn't we do June? We did June. No. It was like Prince no, William. I, I don't right? think so. Did we, we did, do we did on Prince William's birthday, the 21st? Did we? I thought so, because I thought we planned it, and I was like, oh, it's okay. Prince William's birthday and, and Molly's good. birthday. Okay, I apologize. <laughs> that's all right. It feels like it's been so long. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm, I'm like double checking in my calendar. I'm like, did we do it? Uh, we, well, oh, wait, that's July. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. We're going to the table. Let, let me apologize. We did. You. Yes, we, we did, did do it on June 21st. Right. Yeah. It, does, so, it, it feels like it's been two months and it almost has been. So. Yeah. Yeah. So absolutely. But um, so let's see. So for those of you who want to know what all we're going to talk about today, because we're not tasting teas. No. <laughs> so we are catching Amy up. Amy and I have tried every black tea under the sun at this point. Yeah. I don't think we, I mean, we go down the roads of, of, of matches and greens and rubus and stuff like that, but we don't really yeah, we're, know. So we're I know. I was like, we, we've tried all the ones that we want to try at this point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're waiting for something else to strike our fancy. Something new. Yes. Yeah, so if you find one, send it to me. Right. Right. Yeah, but so nice since things. we haven't seen each other in a bit, we have lots of things to catch up on. So uh, you had a big vacation in Italy. I, I had a not as big vacation in Indiana. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me start with you saying, <coughs> I'm yeah. going to apologize to anybody. Oh, yes. I am getting over some bronchitis. It's not COVID, I swear. That has been my tagline everywhere I go. I, I love it. Yes, it's bronchitis. It's not COVID, I swear. Yeah. Um, but either way, if you're watching on Zoom, <laughs> you're yeah, not you can't get it to that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm coughing and um, right. that constant tickle, right? Right mm. there, and I can't reach That's, it. <laughs> right, right. Some hot tea. I want to say too, <clears throat> you're looking mighty well, and your hair is like a plastic. Thank you. Pink. Yes, it is. Yeah, it it was like fuchsia last week, and it's washing out into a faded pink, which is what the goal was. So, gotcha. yeah, I've I've gone back to playing with colors for a little bit. I made it. I stayed blonde for like I think almost a whole month. <laughs> which hasn't been done since like before the pandemic. <laughs> well, I just colored mine today because my roots are showing. Oh, white. lovely. So, so yeah, so, <laughs> I had to do something. I'm like, oh, meeting with Amy, got to color hair. There you go. So. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And I definitely worked on my lighting and all that before <clears throat> I got here and, you know, put up my grand foyer. I like your grand foyer. <laughs> yeah, foyer. Sorry. Foyer. Mm -hmm. If we're gonna be and I'm picking out of my Chris, my Christmas mug because I was like, I want to. Oh well, here you go. Here's a Bad Christmas a tea confessional. So my electric water kettle just stopped working mysteriously. <laughs> like I mean, I've had it for a while, so I suppose they just like crap out at some point. But yeah, I think so. I okay. do. I think so so it, it happened, and it happened right before we went to Indiana, and so then I was ordering groceries and stuff from Walmart and then ordered an electric water kettle and it's still not going to be here I think until like maybe even next week so I use the microwave today. I was gonna say the microwave will will do in a pinch but please people know that that is not a good way exactly so it I was like well I'm just gonna make tea. a giant cup then and I haven't had tea in a minute now so I'm like I'm gonna drink a tall cup of tea <laughs> We um, we came home from Italy and a couple of days later with were without electricity for an entire day. It was just some freak thing. Oh yeah. So I don't have a gas stove. I have an electric stove. I have an right. electric kettle. I have a microwave. None of these things work. So I was an entire day without tea and I was Jones and so bad. I'm like, oh no, headache. I do if I don't get something. So um, I finally <laughs> just I I went as hot as I possibly could on the water out of the faucet. the faucet and um uh, you need 212 degrees celsius to really boil water for black tea i think i'm lucky if i got up to 85 or so. 
<laughs> it was not a good cup, but I, you know, it was something. I was like, it was oh, something. Tea. I'm like, I'm not going to call it tea. We're not calling this tea. Right. Right. Not yeah. Really tea. Oh my God. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. So we bo both had our difficulties in tea in the tea yeah. world. Right? <laughs> I, 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 and I, I could not remember the last time I went a morning without having tea. Mm. And um, yeah. either by by addiction or just by pure daily ritual, have ha, you right. know has to be done. Right. I, I love I get up and I'm like, "Tea, what's it going to be today? What am I going to have? What's yeah, I'm going to have what cup am I going to use?" Da, 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 right. you know? Now I want that ritual. Yeah, I'm like for me, it's like, do I feel like I'm going to be able to do it this morning? <laughs> like yeah. have it this morning, or like I guess maybe at work, but. At work, they have like the Keurig thing. So, or I should say at the one, yeah, at the attorney's office, they have the Keurig thing. So I have to like run it through once to try and get the coffee taste out of the oh, water. Gosh, yes. So I run like yeah. one, yeah, without like and dump the water. And then still I'm like, I think I'm tasting coffee, but it's like, a because I don't like coffee, but I'm like, but it's no. the lightest enough of coffee that it doesn't ruin everything. But I'm like, I don't, I don't think this is my normal tea. <laughs> Taste. right so when yeah. we had Keurig I had his mom had, Jose's mom had told me he, they were th she was thinking about getting us and I said well you know a Keurig would be good because I said that's when I had first started drinking tea right because then we could each you know we'd each have our coffee and our tea in the morning and um but then I really discovered loose leaf teas and yeah. better brands of tea and um, and I don't go. I'll, I'll do it in a pinch, and I usually will do that with the least amount of water, so I can add milk to it and and mm -hmm. um, and do it that way. But it's just it's you and I have discussed this before. There are different yeah. grades. You have you know the certain blooms of the leaves that they pick at right. certain times of year, all the way and they are graded and all the way down to what is powdered tea. Basically, it is just whatever <laughs> left over and the crush. And that's what goes right, into, right. All the crumbs. into a Keurig. <laughs> yeah. And um, and it's it's not good. And I I even tried this years ago, the one of those sweet tea things, but the sweet tea means that it's got sugar in it. And <clears throat> we will probably like, part ways. <laughs> excuse me on this one too. I apologize. It's going to keep happening. Right, you're fine. Um, yeah. But they usually they have the fake sweeteners in it, and my tongue will pick that out in a second, and it is not pleasant for me. So oh, I, I see. Like I see. With fake sweeteners, yeah. Right. Well, that so that brings up a good point because I forgot I have tried. Yeah, the Keurig where it's like they actually have the cups for the like the K cups or whatever with tea. So I've not been doing that. What I'm doing is strictly getting hot water from the machine. Now, what you're, but what I'm thinking now, I'm like, actually, if I just deal with it and like get the tea cups for myself to use, it'll probably at least, it will somehow taste better because right now it's running fully through like the coffee part, right? Like yes. there's no plastic cup protecting it. So like all the water is going through that that's part. True. Yeah. So like Very that's the only way true. to get hot water. Yeah. Yeah. You're um, reminding me, I need to clean our Keurig. Oh, <laughs> I need to run some hot water through that. Yeah, yeah. Is it just so, like really? Yeah, it gets super coffee. -y, yeah, but, it does. So yeah. I am drinking today. Yeah, which I'm drinking? drinking Spanish orange chocolate from the English Ooh. tea shop. Um, it's crazy. delish. I served this at a tea party a couple of months back, and it was a huge hit. Um, yeah. I was torn between that and the um, Scottish toffee pour that you introduced mm, me to mm -hmm. that I love i just yes. love that that will be an absolute staple i'm getting through all, all these teas that people have sent me and they're just eh, teas yeah yeah um, but my husband's like but if you you should get the tea you enjoy but i'm like but that's like you know 50 dollars worth of tea that people keep sending me and i feel like right, i right. need to use it up before i go and spend more but i'm i'm this close i need some more golden monkey i need some assam i need yeah. some, you know some other high quality stuff because i'm a tea yeah. snob and i'm proud of that exactly I'm be right snob about well, and you said it's Spanish orange chocolate. Spanish orange chocolate. Okay. Did so I is, not it a black, is it a black tea? A black it tea. is a black tea. Yeah. If I okay. not, it's it's lovely to look at. It's yeah. It smells delicious. Um, mm -hmm. I have to say, for this particular cup, um, I also still have the Harney and Sons um, chocolate Valentine tea. Mm -hmm. So I actually put an extra pinch of the chocolate in there. Nice. Uh, so it's it's delicious this afternoon. Anything yeah. else going down right now? <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah. Oh. Well, I I'm drinking uh, um, Fortnum and Mason's uh, Queen Anne, 
uh, nice. to I liked that when you sent me one of those and it was, oh. it was lovely. Oh. So I have to tell, I know we've got so many things to talk about, but I told you that we've got these friends that have relocated to London for yes. three years. Yes. And she just posted 62 pictures. If you thought my pictures from Italy were bad, she just posted 62 pictures from one of her morning walks the other day. Oh I'm my God. Only, I will say it again, Kristen Leland, if I didn't love you so much, I'd absolutely hate your right now because she's doing exactly what I would do. I would walk the streets. I would pour over everything. Um, I'm getting pictures of these quaint pubs with cute names, the gorgeous houses, the Victorian brickwork, the... Right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it's so amazing i just i'm like keep it coming and then part of me is right. like, shut up <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, well tell me about indiana you went home to see family yes went home to see family uh so it was it was good i realized on the way and i was like oh we haven't been back here in like two and a half years it was like <laughs> well it was well before COVID. Yeah, was a thing. So, um, so we've seen my parents because they come down here, but we hadn't seen anybody else. Um, but my, so it was fun because my little niece Esme is two and a half now. And so Piper and she could like play. And she of course just thought Piper was like the coolest and thought she was really funny and everything. So it was great. But uh, let's see, funny bits of stories from it is that Piper, <laughs> Turns out is a city girl and she comes by it, honestly. <laughs> so my brother and sister-in-law, they live out in the country, like on a farm and uh, just on the swing, just playing on the swing set, Piper like lost her mind every time she saw a bug. So uh, <laughs> she can't even handle, like here in Florida, she can't even handle like an ant walking on the driveway where it should be like not a lot of ants, one ant. Like she can't even know one ant. And so being in Indiana where there are more bugs, especially in the country, um, especially a lot of flying ones, she really is not a fan of flying ones. Right. <laughs> so like, right. and her little cousin Esme is like, to like loves bugs and also, well, lo loves them in a, in a certain way, but she, she loves them and like, she's not afraid of them. Apparently she's like always, she picks them up dead or alive. Um, and now that when they're alive, a lot of times they end up dead, but she picks them up to kiss them. She loves them too much. Yes. <laughs> loves them too much. Yeah. And like, yeah, I was like telling someone that they're like, surely not spiders. I was like, no, she even does it with spiders. Like it's wild. But so, but what's so funny is my brother is like laughing. He's like, yeah, like a real psycho. She like picks up one's living, kills it, kisses it, and puts it down. <laughs> It's so funny. But so Piper was depending on Esme to like protect her from the bugs. And what did you like, do? Cover her with a net? I mean, you can. Yeah, I know. No, it was just like if we see a bug, like Esme was supposed to grab it and kill it. And like uh, her mom and dad have a rule that like if the bugs are outside, we don't kill them. Right. And I said, it was like, well, I think you're going to have to let that truce go for like a few days. <laughs> Piper's going to need them dead <laughs> if we're out. If you're gonna have um, peace, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So like, and she even lost her mind. We were in the house and like a fly had gotten in and a fly went by her apparently. And she was like, a bug, a bug, a bug, a bug. And like ran to me, I was like, what? I was like, and like, what was it? I go, oh, it's just like, it's a fly. And she's like, it's gonna get me. I was like, it's not, there's nothing. Like it's just not gonna do anything. And she went and like hit on the couch. And we were like in the local mall one day and there were flies. We sat down on the bench for a second, there were flies there. So apparently flies are like a thing in Indiana <laughs> and everyone like getting in and everywhere. Um, and I was trying to tell her, it's like- they make Indiana you. sound great, go ahead. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, if you, yeah, if you oh, want a representative- have flies. <laughs> if you want a representative of Indiana, it should not be me. <laughs> or your daughter. I will never sell it. <laughs> so, Oh my god. But like so um yeah, but so she's just like going wild and or just going nuts over it. And like so then it's like whenever we would see something and be talking about it, it's like we have to spell it right. We're like to each other, like B-U-G, yes, like whatever. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And yes. so um, but grandma, and I know grandma's gonna be watching this, so that's why I'm telling you. We gave, I gave grandma a hard time because she'd keep 
pointing out bugs. And I'm like, no, don't. <laughs> don't say <laughs> So she's like out, like it was like the first day out on the playground and uh, Piper's already like freaked out. And then mom, grandma is just like, well, like, oh, there's just an ant. It was on my foot though. Like, like in her, sh like she was wearing sandals, or whatever. It's just on her foot. It's just one ant. And so then Piper's like, oh my God, I can't step in the grass. And like, there's like some clover around in the grass mixed in and like, grandma says something about how sometimes there's bees in the clover and oh look there's one so now and like she knows bees sting so it's like she's mm -hmm. already afraid the things that don't hurt her <laughs> right right <laughs> so it's like grandma <laughs> it's not pointed out yeah jackie is afraid of dra dragonflies and we're like they do nothing to you jackie she's oh my afraid goodness. of flies if one gets in the house and buzzes around she was like, oh my it's, be, it's a fly. And she's like, it hurt me. I'm like, no, it doesn't hurt you. Doesn't it doesn't hurt, hurt yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. They're gross. Oh you don't want it on your face. Yeah, food. yeah, they're gross. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Piper's yeah. like, what's it doing? Why, like, why they land on me? I was like, oh, nothing. They're just looking for food. It's like, they're definitely not pooping on you. <laughs> <laughs> they're not regurgitating and yeah, all yeah, the good stuff right? that flies do. Yeah. Yeah, oh, but goodness. so... Well, that's funny because dragonflies are like the one thing that Piper is cool with. She's cool with dragonflies right. and butterflies. That's funny. I mean, yeah. butterflies, of course, but like, yeah. Although if she gets too close to one, which she did uh, at our neighbors here, and he's like close enough that you could see like its face and it's like, and she yeah. like flipped out. She's like, it's too creepy. <laughs> she didn't like it anymore. That's funny. They, they are kind of cool looking when you, when you get, yeah. you can get close up to them. <laughs> right, right. Oh, baby Breck is coming to tea. Say hello, oh, baby Brick. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> I apologize. Um, yeah, I'm just but, gonna keep apologizing. Yeah, so I'd say bugs. Bugs were the main event. Uh, there was a, a like a outdoor like barn cat, you know, that like has wandered onto their property, and it's a white cat. His name is Snowball, and they named it. And I was like, I was like, it has got to be hard being a white cat. And like being an outdoor like cat because like a stray cat i'm like you can't keep that for a clean like he's about as mangy as can be oh, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> but piper loved him and like so she was petting him and everything and one day she came in uh and she had been out there with esme and then esme's mom candace <laughs> she comes inside and she's crying and uh and like and they follow in behind her I was like what happened They're like well Esme pulled Snowball's tail like just the way that a two and a half year old would it's right. not like it was really you know a big it wasn't really a big deal and the cat probably just was like Rare, and like ran away but Piper was like genuinely feeling it so hard she was like bawling and I was like She's like, as the old snowball's tail is like, I know, but she doesn't know anybody. She's like, I know, but she's like, is she just, I just love snowball so much. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> very cute. Very protective. It was very cute. Yeah, yeah, it was really cute. Yeah. So she eventually told me that she, you know, was was over it or whatever. Like, you know, she understands Esme didn't mean it and she calmed down. <laughs> so funny. I forgive you. I know, I know. It's just like the way she's just like, I just love him so much. <laughs> it's like you've known him for a day. That's so cute, though. Yeah, but so Italy. So the, I mean, those are my main stories. Are basically how Piper was in Indiana, which was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and you, 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 this was a go back to see family trip. Yeah, this was go back to see family trip. Yeah, so it was my brother and his wife um, and their daughter, and then. Uh, my aunts and uncles uh, came up to visit. Uh, I mean, up from like Indiana slash Kentucky, but right. southern Indiana. What part of Kentucky? Uh, they are. I think they're still technically in the Louisville area, yeah. Louisville. But yeah, yeah the locals Louisville. will call it Louisville. Louisville. Yeah, Louisville. <laughs> um, so I don't know if I ever. So my oldest sister Tanya was born in um, Evansville, Indiana. My oh, okay. sister Donna was born in Louisville, Kentucky. Oh. My brother and I were born in Chicago, and my uh, other brother was born in Valdosta, Georgia. Oh my gosh! So, <laughs> I don't think I knew that. Yeah, you were all born everywhere. Yeah, Louisville. So, how does your family? So I have to ask, how does your family say Miami? Hmm. Do they say Miami? Uh, Miami. Got, 
I've got two uncles. What do they, they say? They call Miami. It's Miami. Of course. Oh, they, okay. They grew up in Miami um, because the oldest one had, I can't remember what condition. It, it was. In Miami, Florida? What's up? In Miami, Florida? Yeah. They say it Miami? And they call it Miami. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They mispronounce a lot. It's so funny. It's just that side. It's my mom's two brothers. Her sister, and I think I've told you this, so um, my Aunt Bootsy, God bless her, she's 90-something years old, sweetest thing, and she she used to be very rotund. <laughs> she and her husband, Uncle Gene, I mean, they were, they were, yeah. they were, they were large, short, <laughs> really short, and really yeah. wide, and she wouldn't say, oh, my Lord, when she was saying, she go, oh, my Lord, oh, my Lord, <laughs> I was like, the irony here. Do you get the irony? <laughs> There's irony or sarcasm. There's something in there that's right, like, right. Yeah, yeah. You're like find something new to say. Yeah, you're like, maybe let's start pronouncing it a different way. <laughs> Lord, Lord, let's get some elocution. Lord. That's so funny. I'm alive. So, oh my lord. So <laughs> growing up in Miami. Coming from Louisville. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I was like, Miami sounds like something that like, I don't know, like the hillbillies would say and you know that's why that you're asking was it an indiana like hillbilly thing i don't because, know i i really i don't even know where that came from um because as far as i know everybody that i know just says miami we also don't my, talk about miami much <laughs> my mom was born and raised in miami she was there were there's a 14 year difference between her and her next brother mm -hmm. um and yeah and he was off fighting world war ii when she oh, was wow you know, a very yeah. little girl, she'll tell you, my mom tells me, she says, I remember being very young and sitting, my mom, they'd have the days, the, the blackouts and oh, mom wow. would try to make it fun. And, and they'd sit under a table and she'd put a big tablecloth underneath yeah, the yeah. chair over the table and they would sit under right. there for the, for the blackouts and stuff. Um, but, uh, but my mom never, my mom always said Miami. She's that's what I was going to ask. Yeah. So your mom no. says Miami. My, yeah. my mom says Miami. So I don't know where the Miami comes from. <laughs> No, I don't. That's good. But God bless them both because Uncle Don is 96. Uncle Dean is 93. Oh, wow. He's 92. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what, 96? That's as old as our queen, right? Yeah. 96, yeah. 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 <laughs> right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So so what about Italy? What all? Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Miraviliosa. It was marvelous. It was yeah. hot as hell. We didn't see a day under 96. Oh, because were you there when it was like crazy hot? Like when it all was, over? Yeah. And I think it still is. It just is ridiculous. Mm. When when Great Britain was complaining of their heat. Give me a break. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I know it's hot for them, but still. <laughs> um, there wasn't a cloud in the sky. Um, mm -hmm. So it was just one of the, it's just one of those things that you're just like, okay, we're here, embrace it. That's what Jose would do. Okay, just embrace it. But for Jackie, that was really difficult. So we have cooling towels and I bought her one of those neck fans. Oh yeah, yeah. And we nice. just work really, really hard to keep her cool. The tours that we took, the tour guides were very empathetic and always made sure, not just for Jackie even, but just for everybody. Let's stand over here where there's shade. Let's stand here where there's oh, shade. Oh, right, right. Um, it was phenomenal. It really just, awesome. it was the trip that we have been wanting to take for three years. And uh, kudos to Jose and me, I'm just going to say, we did yeah. so much planning, so much research, what was the best way to do things. We had train tickets ready to go. There was no guesswork. It was, this is how nice. much it's going to cost, or we need to get this ahead of time. Um, right. We never once had to show our vaccine passport, if you will. Nice. Um, we mm -hmm. didn't have to wear the mask on our flight to Rome, but mm -hmm. from Rome to Munich, Munich back to DC, we had to wear a mask on Lufthansa. Interesting. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the food in Italy was great because like a lot of European countries, they don't allow, uh, fake ingredients or, oh, right. additives mm -hmm. or preservatives. So everything is coming right from the farm to you. Right. Best tomatoes you've ever, ever tasted. Yeah. Um, the Jack, you'll see prosciutto, the prosciutto, the bruschetta, oh. all the food was just really fantastic. The wine was terrific. Um, we saw just some amazing things rushed through, absolutely rushed mm -hmm. through. Um, at night, Jose and I, it's exhausted, absolutely exhausted. Yeah. And 
be like such a great day what was your favorite part what did you you know what did you wish we'd yeah. done differently <clears throat> and we would always say now pretend the kids weren't here what would we have done <laughs> yeah right <laughs> and you know how would we have done it differently you know when you take those tours everything's first thing in the morning so oh, yeah our here we were thoroughly jet lagged and we had to get up to be for ready for our first tour thank god it was just right across the street from where we were staying yeah. <laughs> literally a walk across the oh, street right. yeah, yeah. um and uh but that was at what was it seven seven forty five in the morning seven thirty in the morning something like that so like back their back time out, yeah Oh my gosh, well, so that's even early local time. One thirty in the morning, our body time. Jeez Louise. <laughs> so um, we had taken a nap the day before and I think we slept somewhat decently, but it does hit you. And yeah. thank goodness that first tour was in an, an air conditioned bus out to the countryside or Tuscany. Right. Um, so there was a lot of napping in between. Downs. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And <laughs> my husband's taking pictures of the boys. I mean, like they're, they're on the bus and they're like, oh, oh that's great. I'm just trying to sleep and... <laughs> Um, the countryside yeah. Tuscany was our favorite. We went to a farmhouse where they served us a, uh, three course lunch. Everything was made on the farm from the pasta wow. to the olive oil, to the wines, wow. um, gorgeous scenery. Uh, the boys loved that they could have a glass of wine or a glass of something every dinner, especially yeah. my, my younger son. Oh, right. Eight. Um, we'd be taking, so like, they well, like, did they have to get used to the taste of it? Cause wine no, no we let them sip things. We don't, you know. Mm -hmm. we don't believe in absolution on the whole you're not going to touch anything until you're legal because then there's right. so much excitement about it right um, well I understand that it's just like I don't know the average teenage boy still it's like they might have beer or something like yeah. a beer but like yeah. wine is yeah, it, yeah. especially like real wine <laughs> real wine real wine so what was so the last night man my feet were killing me I did all of Italy in a boot mm-hmm by the way, I just went to the podiatrist and surgery's on the table at this point. I'm going for a second opinion, but I, it, my, my foot isn't healing. So I got to do something. Yes. They did the oh, whole yeah. thing in a boot and, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and cobblestones everywhere. Uh, it was, it was great. I mean, it's honestly, it didn't, in, in the end, it, it really didn't bother me. Um, but the last night, God, we did so much walking. I can't even tell you. I wish I'd had one of those things oh, on, yeah, yeah, on yeah. my watch mm -hmm. to tell me how many steps. We take him, but we finally find we get into this one area we'd wanted to get into and um, sat down at the table. Cause I was like, do you want to sit here? I'm like, I just want to sit. Yes. Just, just, just yeah. Sit. So he said, do you want wine? And I'm like, you're probably going to have to carry me on your shoulders home. But yes, I, I want a glass. of yeah. So I said, I want the wine. I want a glass of wine. The most unfriendly waitress. Everybody else everywhere is friendly, but this, she would yeah, not yeah. crack a smile. Not until Jackie, not until oh. Jackie said, um, and she say, uh, grazie. And then she's going to crack a smile. And she's all, there you go, Um, And so I said, I just want the glass, just a glass of wine. Well, it comes out in a pitcher that's twice this size, okay? So it was more like four glasses of wine for me. And I told her, I'm like, she better not charge her more than just a glass. And she's better do that. I just asked for a glass. He went, yeah, yeah. The bill comes and he goes, oh my gosh. He goes, Nancy, do you have any idea how much your wine was? And I'm like, I just asked for the glass. I, I, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to fight it. If she, she charged me, he goes, yeah, right. Um, Two euros, two euros for what? Yeah, seriously. For basically a bottle of <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, I like that. That is wild. <laughs> yeah. Um, we saw everything we could possibly, all, all the big things. We saw the Coliseum, yeah. the Trevor Fountain, stuff like that. Would right. we go back again? Absolutely. We would do it a little differently, a little slower. Sure. But um, we came back with severe wanderlust. Um, we are talking about oh. doing um, Ireland and nice. um, London next August. For yeah. our retire moon when he retires. Oh, I like that. Yeah, and, yeah, um, and I, I think we're really going to make that happen, barring anything like another pandemic or whatever. The one thing I have to say, I have to say this. So we were walking, we just finished the Coliseum tour, and we were walking toward an area called Trastevere and go down this hill and just she went much taller than I was, long, mm -hmm. like platinum blonde hair down here, kind of flowy, big sunglasses. And she's walking very briskly up through a yeah. crowd of people. And we're getting, Jose's doing this number. I said, what? He goes, I swear, I think that was Madonna. 
And I'm like, <laughs> and I turned around, I'm like, and she she did catch my eye, I have to say, because that hair just really stood out. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. is the hairstyle that Madonna has right now and the color. And the person walking very briskly next to her was a younger black man. Oh my goodness. That's and wild. I know last year she spent, I'm not a big Madonna fan, not like I used to be, but I know yeah. last year she spent Italy or spent August in Italy for her birthday. Oh. And this mid July. <laughs> I don't know. I, we have no way of finding out. We have no right, way. Right, right. We think. Oh my goodness. We think we passed Madonna on the street. Oh my so. goodness, that's so fun. <laughs> nice. Very interesting. But it was fabulous. Thank you for asking. It. I'm still talking about it. We came home with a thousand pictures between us. Yeah. I had 690 on my. Oh my camera. god. Um, I have gone through every one of them, and I have to say that is that's half the fun because you get to go back you're so much in the rush of such a vacation right and i got to go back and i got to pour over every single picture and i've yeah. whittled, whittled it down to 546 pictures now oh my god 546 that's yeah. hilarious yeah so and I will what, make did, photo books. what did your brothers or not your brothers what did the boys think they had a great time they had a really it, it, everybody had a great time like i said it was hard to keep jackie smiling through some of it just because it was so hot um yeah but we would sit down to dinner every night every night was fabulous right. every dinner was terrific um and i'd be like okay what was what was the highlight what did you love yeah yeah and um mm -hmm. jackie was all jackie's so sweet she's just she's just so innately sweet she's like i'm like jackie was your favorite part just being with you guys oh my god <laughs> that's awesome she's hilarious <clears throat> she cracks me up so yeah they loved it i think they loved the coliseum tour i know the artwork wasn't the biggest thing for them mm -hmm. but in the end when they get to say that i saw that painting by michelangelo right right uh, david or things like that um yeah it, it really was looking really back cool. on it it was really cool it was just it really was just amazing there, there yeah. wasn't anything that I can say that we, I mean, thank God our luggage all showed up when it needed to. Yeah. Um, and at the last second, the apartment we had rented, <coughs> excuse me, mm -hmm. in Rome, she texted me 24 hours before we were leaving. And she said, I'm so sorry. I've got a busted pipe in the bathroom and I'm tearing up tiles as we speak. And I'm like, crap. Um, and she said, but I have another apartment. It's exactly the same layout. It's, I won't charge you any differently. Just say yes. And it's yours. So I'm like, I, I got no choice. Yeah. Well, yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I guess so. You. Exactly. It was three blocks closer to the Vatican. And when I say close to the Vatican, open up the shutters to my bedroom, look, and it was like right there. In fact, oh my gosh, the, the tour for Vatican city was meeting exactly at the base of our apartment building. So wow. we got a little extra sleep because we didn't have to rush to take a bus or a cab somewhere. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, it was fantastic. We, That's we, so saw cool. the we went to mass of the Vatican, um, all that kind of stuff. So it just, it was a great trip and I'll shut yeah. up now. I'll just keep going. I'll just oh my gosh. Going. No, no, no. But that's fun. That's <laughs> awesome. And then what about, uh, the language as far as like who, you know, did you guys pick up on, I mean, I can tell that you picked up on certain words, but like, did you feel like you understood? Didn't have to. You Didn't have to. All, Almost all everybody English. speaks English. Um, and, uh, a couple people at a restaurant, like one of the guys, he, he worked really hard to try to explain <clears throat> a couple of the, the dinners to us. And he had very limited English. Um, but this was also the man who gave me a free limoncello at the end of it. So I forgave him. Um, oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, it was delicious. Um, Jose with his Spanish, um, Jose had been studying the Italian. Oh, but yeah. he kind of, so he would say things that I think came out like half Spanish, half Italian, um, <laughs> but they understood him enough. Um, Stephen, my oldest, did a marvelous job, uh, oh. really saying some things and and communicating. Um, but it really was only down to when we needed to order a dinner. Got it. Everybody okay. else, all our tour guides were English speaking, right? And phenomenal. I mean, they're just so passionate mm -hmm. about what they do and what they know and share it with you. And um, so, yeah, they're really, you know, the people. Well, let's go to England because at least they speak English there. Well, let me tell you, in Italy. They, they teach them English from a very early age. English is a right. universal language and that's what they mm -hmm. learned. So um, it was not difficult at all to get around. Right. Oh, so very cool. Highly recommend, nice. highly recommend, you know, if you're looking out yeah. the realm of the UK, 
which is always right, popular. right, which is yeah, which is hard for me to do. But. <laughs> yes, I, and I understand that. I understand that. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to go back. Mm -hmm. But it does sound, it does sound fun. It does sound nice. Um, it was. I would not go yeah. in the middle of July. <laughs> it's so hot. It's just so thinking hot. Um, yeah. I think when people say don't go in August because that's when everybody flees the cities and goes out to the country. Oh, really? Um, okay. Smell, so a lot of places aren't open or fully staffed or whatever. So got it. Um, okay. I always say fall is the best time to see anything anywhere. <laughs> yeah. It's always pretty. That's true. It's always, yeah. It's the, the, the weather is always nicer. So, right. Yeah. Well, that's funny because the weather, <laughs> like, so for, like I said, I've been in the state of Indiana in two and a half years. And uh, when I moved here, I was dead set on the fact that I'm like, Indiana gets just as hot and humid as Florida, but there's not pools and beaches everywhere. So like, that's my issue with Indiana. Gotcha. And, but going back this time after being in Florida for a good amount of time, and at least for the week that I was there, uh, I was like, oh, it's it's not as hot. It is a different heat. They will have days that are as hot as Florida, but it's definitely not, you know, consistent. consistent exactly. Like that. But what was fun was that everyone was like talking about how hot it was. It was like too hot to go play outside. And I'm like, you guys, it doesn't even feel like we're in an oven. <laughs> I was like, it's hot, but it, like, I didn't feel like I just walked into an oven, did you? <laughs> it, it's relative, isn't it? I mean, it is, yeah. And there was like a breeze. I'm like, what? Who gets a cool yeah. breeze? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come on, you may say hello real quick. Come on in. Oh, hello. Hello. Hey, hello. hey Jackie. Uh -huh. Did you did you have fun in Italy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I was hearing what, all what about your, it. What was your favorite thing to eat? Prosciutto. <laughs> I love it. Prosciutto. And Bruschetta. 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 And gnocchi. And gnocchi. And pizza. Perfect. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. Yeah. What What do you want to tell me? What's the number of my green one? I was a lot of them. I have no idea. What? It's a number of my Oh, I'll get it in a little bit, okay? Okay, okay thank you. I've actually... I we bought our record player and I have inherited our childhood records that go back to like the seventies. I'm surprised they still play. Oh my but, gosh. Um, she's been listening to Alice in Wonderland. Oh. So, so I hid it from her and she's asking. <laughs> oh, no idea. No idea. So, it, nice. so oh the weather God. is all relative. Absolutely. When they talk about it being hot, it's like, I get it that it's relative. I guess I was just surprised that I'm like, okay, okay. Now I'm coming around to the fact that you're right. Like when you're used to Indiana weather and you come to Florida, I suppose it feels more suffocating. Right. But like, but I still enjoy Florida heat. So like, it wasn't, it's not a problem for me. I just was like, oh, this is interesting. Like this isn't, yeah. Yes. <laughs> this isn't as I, hot I as you, I remembered it. <laughs> I, I told you story, right? That we all met. Jose's family, we all met for New Year's Eve 2000 for Y2K. Mm -hmm. And we met in South Florida, where mm -hmm. his aunts and uncles are. And um, the temperature that evening dipped down to 69 degrees, oh 69, 68. And those of us from Florida were scrambling for sweaters. Yep. Mm -hmm. And those who came from New York were walking around in spaghetti straps and, and, and strapless right. outfits. Right, right. And it's, it's all, it is all relative. I always say, right. okay, take 60 degrees. 60 degrees in November feels quite chilly, but 60 yeah. degrees in May feels so warm. Right, because right. we're That's coming true. off of all this cold weather. And right, right. It's like wherever, up. yeah, wherever your body has been the most. <laughs> That's what it's Absolutely. Like. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. When I yeah. step off the plane in Florida, and out the, the, the doors of the airport and that humidity hits me. It's like, <gasps> <laughs> for me, I'm like, I'm home. <laughs> See, and I think when, when, and I say, when, when we move back to Florida, that's right. I think I'm going to have to go to like Pixie or something because this is not going to happen. That, I, yeah. I, well, let's just say I'm inside with my hair down, but when I'm like out and about, I'm now, I've got a clip. <laughs> yeah. Got to get <laughs> yeah. something. Ah. But, you mentioned you mentioned the record. So what's so funny is um, on my way uh, 
on our way home, uh, like Piper and I were still at the airport, wait, or sorry, not on our way to Indiana. Okay, so we, my mom texts me and says, your dad found a box of your old Barbies up in the attic and like sent a little picture of it. And I was like, the few I could see, I was like, oh my God, I thought those were long gone. Like those aren't even Barbies I played with in the late years of me playing with Barbies. So it's like, where the hell are these things? <laughs> and so, um, so I was like super excited. And then I like showed it to Piper and she's like, okay, like she did of course wasn't that excited um, until we like got home and then it was funny or got to my parents' house because it was like late and we're, you know, should be tired and we were gonna like get ready for bed and everything. But then next thing, you know, Piper and I are both back in my old room in my closet, <laughs> digging through the box and checking out all the parties. <laughs> and for you, it, was, it brought back probably a lot of childhood Feeling it did and yeah and I yeah. was just like oh my god this one was so cool like some of them were like my favorite outfits and I was like so I brought a good amount of them home uh back here and I was uh showing oh gosh our neighbor Caesar came over for a minute the other day and I was telling him about it I was like look at these you know he's like oh boy he's, he's like they don't make Barbie outfits like this anymore <laughs> like like these are I should have like had one ready it's like way on the other side of the house but I'm like it's like the the detail and all the accessories and they look like because now it's like they all seem very similar styles it's just like a different fabric but the yeah. same dress style absolutely. Right? absolutely and like they're and and what's interesting mm -hmm. is I was showing uh um uh, oh Piper's dad and stepmom when we were facetiming them and uh, she pointed out, she was like, oh, she's like, I forgot. They used to like put more into like the details of their faces too. So I was like, oh, that's interesting. So I started holding up a bunch of the Barbies, the old ones and together. And then some of her new ones that we had brought. And it's like all the new ones basically have the same face. They may just be like different shades or different eye color, whatever. Gotcha. But the actual shape, like face shape and like different, I don't know, dimples or whatever it is, right. on their, like head sizes, like they were different on the old Barbies. Like <laughs> they look like actual different people. <laughs> so I've got yeah. a friend who is married, cannot have children of her own. Um, she has a sister who had boys mm. and she has all of the Barbie stuff. Now they have I, the, I, it gives me a headache to think of all the, she gave it all to Jackie because she wanted to give it to a girl who would appreciate it. Uh, now, Jackie might appreciate it, but I don't because <laughs> they are two fishing tackle boxes this big. Yeah. And they're yeah. double-sided and each little compartment is filled with, there's a section for leg warmers, for sunglasses, for records, for telephones, for this, for that. And it's all the little stuff. Then there's the kitchen stuff. My God, Amy, the mm. tiny forks, the tiny spoons, the tiny knives. The little, <laughs> and then there's the dishwasher that has the little dishes for it in the closet. And I, and it was everywhere. And I can't deal with chaos like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not oh, saying yeah. I'm a need freak, but I guess I am. Yeah, I, yeah. I couldn't deal with it. So I've actually, and, and that, it wasn't just the tackle boxes. It right. was a massive cardboard box with 80s punk barbie 80s punk rocker and the band set and oh my gosh a horse and there's a this and there's a that and there oh wow yeah know, yeah so it's sitting down in the basement in boxes right now because i can't i don't know what to do with the stuff anymore and i think oh i just gosh. need to give it back to her and say make some money sell this on ebay you know yeah yeah because um, does she, do, like, does Jackie have some of it to play with, with her Barbies, or is all of it done? Well, only because I can't distinguish between that stuff that was given to us, and two years ago, three years ago, the lady up the street, her daughter mm -hmm. became a teenager, and they gave us a massive Barbie house Ooh. that comes up to, if I stand up, it's easily up to here. Yeah, on, yeah, that's awesome. Like an elevator, and some furniture, mm -hmm. and a bin one of those bin organizers has like six bins and all oh, yeah. the Barbie stuff in it. And I don't know one shoe from an X. I really, I haven't a clue. Oh my and, goodness. Um, Come on, Nancy. <laughs> I'm like, you're, kill you're killing me. With <laughs> Maybe like, I will box it up and send it to you. You can deal with it. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, please, if Piper doesn't want it, I'll take it. <laughs> Hilarious. What was really funny is that her, she, 
she messaged me like two days later and she said, I hope Jackie's enjoying the Barbie stuff. It's funny, my husband thinks he saw some of those things for sale on Marketplace. So that was her subtle way of saying, did you take all my stuff and just turn around and try to sell it? And I'm um, like, no. And I took a picture, an aerial shot of all the, all over, <laughs> right, all over my living room floor. Right. Oh my goodness. No, we still have it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, still enjoying every bit of it. Every well, last tiny little spoon of it, honey. Thanks. Yeah. When you were telling me about it, the, the, it was like a light bulb went off. It's like a tackle box. <laughs> Like that's what, it, cause I'm always trying to like find new ways to organize the stuff, especially as we get more things. Yep. Yep. And like a friend one time I was like organizing things and they were visiting and he's like, are you folding Barbie clothes right now? <laughs> I was like, I was like, maybe leave me alone. I know. <laughs> Just, that's what I do. This is, this is what I enjoy doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so funny. Yeah. yeah. Uh. But um oh my goodness okay <coughs> so okay what do we have okay. in let's, royals let's back. yes royals um so well first of all i before we get into some ugly things this uh -huh. is a new royal uh i'm gonna say a new type of royalty coming uh -huh. forward with kate and will yeah. yes i'm gonna just go ahead and bypass charles and camilla um, there was this darling article about um, so, uh, some man had become emotional. I have the article in here somewhere. Here mm -hmm. it is. Some man had become emotional, and it, the the headline was Prince William Le hug. Prince William hug leaves elderly man overcome with emotion. And Prince William had actually, if, if I can show you the picture, yeah, yeah. Now, oh, actually hugged him. You would not have seen that in his grandparents' day. You would not have seen that in his. You don't even, I don't see that with Charles and Camilla. Like Charles it, isn't going to hug anybody. Yeah. No. And he was raised not to. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it's not like anything against Charles. It's just like, yeah, yeah. No, He's exactly. Not I, I think Charles is probably a very emotional, quite possibly. I mean, we've seen pictures of how affectionate he has been with his own sons and his grandchildren. Right. Like, right. Not with, certainly not with the public. So um, I, I see that there's so much more touch of you. I saw a cute little clip today where um, William they were in a crowd of people, a couple of kids and it was a soccer ball <laughs> and Will kicked the ball. And, um, and there was a second ball there and Kate was talking to somebody, she, excuse me, she turns around and she kicked the ball oh, and cool. just got ready. To, and, I, and I love how she's very playful. She's very mm -hmm. right into everything. And I, I think that's going to be a very different. And I think they know if yeah. they don't do this, this cannot be the um, behind the veils kind yeah, of yeah. Uh -uh. Um, mysterious uh, that that was first there and uh, you know keep going back right. they have to be it. like a king and the queen of the people like absolutely they to absolutely be, it, not we're yeah, taking yeah. all your money and hiding behind closed doors this, right they have to be out there to show that they're there to service and to serve the people right. and um and and i see so much of that and so much more willingness and readiness to be out there and um and so yeah right. so uh, Th those are those That's are awesome. those are feel good stories. Yeah, uh, yeah. But then there's the nasty slanderous stuff uh, <laughs> that goes just on. Because I know what it's <laughs> whether it's Harry and Meghan, <laughs> yeah. or um, or even Charles and Camilla still mm -hmm. always well current things like there there are headlines out there that um, one of Charles's foundations accepted. Uh, millions of dollars from um, a terrorist organization uh, and that's mm -hmm. you know did he know it at the time I don't know uh, uh, yeah, yeah but yeah the one that appalls me most is this one that and it's been going around for a good four or five years now is that William had an affair which is wild that it's been going around that long because I that was the first I've ever heard anybody make a comment about him having an affair I was like this is not common knowledge in my world like every you know everyone's happy to talk about you know that like you know that the queen had princess diana killed <laughs> like that kind of stuff but nobody no one's talking about william having an affair <laughs> i i first read that so there was a couple and they were apparently buddy buddy they were very yeah. i can't remember I, they did not have royal titles that i recall but they were apparently the best of friends and sometimes shortly 
after the wedding sometime, it, like I said, it was about, it was right around, I, I started reading it. The first time I read it was right about the time what, did I start a cup and crown? So that was what, almost three years ago. Okay, so you had heard of it before. I had heard of it before. Oh, okay. And, um, that they suddenly, that this couple was cut out of their uh, their circle, their inner, inner right. circle, where they mm -hmm. had done many things together in the past. And the rumor was that Will had had an affair with her. Right. And um, I just find that so hard to believe. I find it hard to believe because now, of course, we only get to see what they want us to see. Right, right. And I have to acknowledge that. But these two seem very well fitted and they seem to really rely on each other, which mm -hmm. we all want to believe and want to buy into because sure. it's lovely to see. Um, but it's hard for me. Diana cried on his shoulder when he was just a tyke. I just would have thought that that would have emotionally scarred him to the point that he would know that he would never do anything like that right, right, uh, right. to his own wife or his own family. So, um, and okay, so these people were cut out of the inner circle, but why does it have to be that William had the affair? Where's the evidence? Yeah. Why, why couldn't it be that the husband hit on Kate to the point- Thank you. Was, That's what I was getting to say. Is like, why couldn't it be that Kate had the affair? Not that I want Kate to have had right. an affair, but no, no, right. no. Or that the guy like made, you know, made well, a pass at her. Exactly. Or really. the wife made a pass at Will. Well, and right. Kate, yeah. Said, oh, no, yeah. we're not doing this anymore. We can't right, do right. You know, we're, we're the face of the monarchy coming up. We can't have this. You know, yeah, exactly. It's like, no, so we just thought we were like, yeah, they're like, we just thought we were like best friend, like best couple friends. Like, mm -hmm you're taking this to a place where like that's not our intentions <laughs> right right or god knows what else maybe they were doing something that they thought could be damaging to the monarchy or who we, right or i mean and like people lose like people i'll say you know ditch friends or friends yeah. separate for all kinds of things oh, all that kinds are of not yep. romantic or yeah. what like you know even if you're not worried about your royal reputation like whatever it is you just <laughs> might like come to like a huge disagreement over something and it's just like you can't you just like can't be around them anymore yeah uh, absolutely yeah. It, 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 yeah so the fact that they show me evidence yeah, besides why, why like just the fact like, that like that's the only speculation you have on the situation when it literally could be any other any, anything. <laughs> thing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then the nasty thing, and I don't even know if we want to talk about it or mention it or whatever. Let's yeah. just, I, I guess I'm just gonna say that the headline was it last week or two weeks ago when I texted you about it was that um William had had an affair or continues to have affairs or something because he likes things a little kinky. And, yeah. um, and I just, I, with no evidence, they, they weren't even saying a certain prince without saying yeah. you know, who it was. Um, I think, I think if anything, we should all point our fingers to Andrew, but that would be wrong too, because we don't have evidence there either. Sure, sure. But, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Just, just ugliness. And, and, and it's, and it's ridiculous because yes, the article you, you sent to me about it, it's like, they flat out say in the beginning that essentially this entire thing is kind of made up, but like, let's just run with it. Like the idea of it, if this is true, which prince would it be? It was like, wait, like what? Cause it was like, what, some random person or someone, what they tweet, I forget. Was there like a tweet about it? Something calling it, like, it, yeah. yeah. So and then so random. someone else picked it up and ran with it on a story. But in the story, they have to even say, like, basically, like, there is literally no basis to this. <laughs> it's like, then what? Like, that's not even, like, normal gossip. <laughs> no. So welcome to modern, you know, media yeah, exposure yeah. and so-called journalism. Right, Put it right. out there and apologize for it later on page eight when nobody right. sees it. But put the idea out there in the public's head. And, and, and yeah, whether right, it's right. politics, whether it's something like this. Yeah. It j just, it's ugly. like, yeah. Cause it's like that. Yeah. Right. You said like out in the public's head where it's like, maybe one of us are talking about it to someone who doesn't especially care about whatever the monarchy or is like half listening. So right. they're only half listening to it. So then they tell somebody else, I think I heard those, like, I don't know. And like, then everybody's talking about it, but nobody. Yes, <laughs> yes. absolutely. It, yeah so unfair yeah. but i um, i agree i 
I refuse to think that there is an affair in that marriage on either either side. I agree. I agree because they, it just seems like they are such a strong partnership everywhere you see them yeah. together and mm -hmm. they seem to be together a lot and they seem to have their heads strongly wrapped around and as much as their royal schedules allow, they, they have their lives really wrapped around their kids. And, yeah. um, and you know, that's, that's one of the unfortunate byproducts of this too, is that headline's going to be out there, you know, right. and the kids are going to get old enough to start, you know, Googling their own right. names and stuff like that at some that's point. True. Their names and, and that just comes out. Yeah. Say, but that, that being said, it's like, God, the things that Harry and William had to hear about their dad. Oh God. <laughs> Yeah, well, and things that he actually you know. said on telephone conversations. Well, right, and things that, yeah, yeah, it was like yeah, things yeah. that were actually completely true. Oh <laughs> yes, and things that, you know, that they had to hear about their mom. And now we have, you know, what is it? Um, season five of The Crown coming in November. Yeah, that's coming out. I know, right? I'm excited. Yeah, I know, that's I coming. can't say, but are you? <laughs> Why shouldn't you be excited? I don't know, because <laughs> we know it's all... It's all hearsay. It's all I know. I know. But stuff, you know? well, so what's uh, on the my royal podcast that I was listening to earlier? They were uh, talking to a guy, and of course, I don't remember his name. But he, um, oh, is the uh, director, whatever producer, creator of the. It's a movie that's going to be out on HBO soon called, I believe it's just called The Princess or Our Princess, something like that. Um, it was. It premiered at. Sundance and uh apparently like the royal the podcast people they got to watch it early and what I thought was interesting is what he said was like he had this idea like yes it happens to be coming out closer 25th anniversary of her you know dying but he said he's been working on this project for like six years or like trying to get it going for six years but he and whoever else he was working with they said they only wanted to do it if they were going to be able to add something new. Like this is the most like told and retold story of like all, right? Like everybody does things on Diana and it's all the same yes, stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. So what I thought was interesting is the route they went with it, and I'm excited to watch it, is that apparently it is all uh like <laughs> kind of like a, a tapestry or a quilt of like um oh like new not just news things but like um oh like old recordings and stuff of like talking to the public and like talking to regular people so they're not talking to any royal experts and having them give their two cents and it's all and it's about like following along on how much like basically it's to like look at ourselves and he's saying like you know we whatever all of us and public who were participated in it said to just see like it's not about blame or fault it's just to see like what was our role in all of this and were we complicit with any of this because there's the people who you know it's like there was the demand for the paparazzi to get those pictures yep. so even though people would be like I can't believe they're doing this blah 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 I'll give them like their piece it's like they also were buying all the papers yes. so. I can't believe they're doing this let me re let me go buy the magazine that tells me all about it right right yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. can you believe like can you believe this that they're doing this <laughs> wasn't it Tom Cruise yeah I think it was Tom Cruise after she died Tom Cruise said something to the effect he, he they he'd called into like CNN or something like that mm -hmm. and he said you know anyone who buys those magazines you know we're, we're all guilty because we've all wanted you know we oh, nice. read about everybody else right 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 and and so, that creates a demand right right and so it's interesting because he also it's like not just to look at how you played a role but to see how much like i don't know importance or what like meaning they had in all these like regular people's lives like how much they were tied up in it so like for example how we are or you know with like william and kate it's like it's gonna kill me if something happens <laughs> like they're not faithful <laughs> if it comes yeah. out that there's yeah, a little right there, right i'm gonna be pretty upset like yes. i'm pretty yeah it's like you're just in it's like you're invested in it for no logical reason for no logical reason absolutely right, right. Yeah. so that's right. kind of what they are looking at and they said there's not a narrator guiding you like they try not to have it like they trying to really keep it 
um, like open to interpretation as far as like you think on it your own, like reflect on it on your own of like where you fit in with it, but it's gotcha. not, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, ooh, this sounds so cool. <laughs> like, I wanna see, yeah, I wanna watch that, so. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds interesting and it sounds like something I would, I would probably get into. Well, yeah. so speaking of, yeah, are you gonna buy Harry's book? Well, the problem is- Or at is least right that- the library. Yeah, no, I say the problem is that I just don't read. And like, even that, I don't think it would make me want to read. Yeah. I feel like I'm just going to wait for whatever the Royal Podcast decides to report on. (laughs) Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, because I'm like, I don't, yeah, I mean, maybe, but uh, I have, I've not like put it in my calendar. Yeah. I I don't know when it's coming out and there's a part of me like my neighbor Lil she Mm -hmm. uh she has the the first book the the one I don't remember what it's called but the the one about was it Finding Freedom yes 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 I never read that one but yeah I remember the name yeah but you know so she also subscribes to Hello Magazine Mm -hmm. and People Magazine Royals and and all that you know so she reads all that stuff and um and if I if I go across those articles, it's like, all right, tell you with a grain of salt again, you know, what's what's yeah, yeah. Do I think this is gossip and I shouldn't be participating. I just want to see what Kate's wearing. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but I know she's already talked about she goes, well, when the next book comes out, I gotta read it. Did you want do you want to borrow this book? Do you want to? And I'm like, I know I'm in the middle of something now. So I, you know, because that one was written by somebody else. Again, people will allow you to see what they want you to see. Right. There's there's your truth there's my truth and there's the actual truth and whatever book comes out that harry has put out there is his perceived truth right right yeah yeah it's like there's no inherent truth like meaning about anything (laughs) yeah 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 yeah. exactly it's it's really it's it's how we feel about the situation and i know i've said this in in past conversations in teas that Mm -hmm. you and i have had you know that jose and i can have a fight and he'll say but you said this and I'm like, but that isn't what I intended. That's not what I meant to say or that's right. Right. But that's, yes, that is what you said. And that is how I hurt. And right. Like, right. Exactly. Know, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. It's like how you, ex- yeah. It's, how, it's like how you each experience it is how it's remembered. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So I and actually, that. I forgot. I actually did since this, what you got, you see, this is topics for Amy. Oh, love um, it. What do you, what you got? <laughs> yeah. Um, so Okay, so first, keeping with the world right now. So they, um, it was an again a, a headline: Princess Beatrice and Eugenie are reportedly struggling to remain cordial with Kate Middleton and Prince William. Well, uh-huh. Beatrice and Eugenie, I do believe, are pretty close with Harry, Harry. Mm-hmm. and um, one of them I know flew over for the Super Bowl and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, they were like with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah hanging so, out with them. Yeah. yeah. So. I, and, I, I guess I can kind of see where there's probably some side taking there too. Um, yeah, yeah, I could see, I could see that. And it's like, it's like a cousin thing, right? Yeah. So it's okay. like, if, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, oh no, I was just going to say like, I, I would like to know why they think it's hard to remain, cult, like what the article is referring to. Like, right. if they're just referring to that they've got pictures of them with Harry and they don't happen to have any pictures of them with William. <laughs> Like, exactly true <laughs> that doesn't this it could just be like I mean and they might not have any hard feelings against William and Kate but also like may or one or both of them always tended to get along better with Harry so like whatever they talk to Harry you know yeah like, well because and, and, let, and let's throw in the element that Will has had to have been raised differently because of his role I mean right right he is the upper circle, the inner circle, the innermost circle, the upper crust, right. whatever you want to call that. And then you have the rings that spiral out. Right, right. And Harry was the second ring. For a little while, he was in there too, just because he was yeah, the, yeah. the air and the spare and they were close right. and everything like that. But then there, there was the, you know, the, as you, as you, um, he got, yeah, he got like pushed out. out. Exactly. <laughs> then you've got uh, Beatrice and Eugenie who were never we're part never, of the yeah, yeah. upper but still part right. of it. You never see any bad press on those two. I have to say that, you know, so they're, yeah. the, royals, they're the royals that could t- have fun and be themselves without mm-hmm. being scrutinized. Right. So, right. Um, you know, and, and here's that's Harry, a, who's yeah, that's a good able point. to change his own life at this point. So he can kind of, he's chosen to live that kind of life, what his cousins are able to do. Right, you know, right. To live 
high on the hog, if you will. Right. You know, there's a Midwestern term for you. Um, I love it. And, yeah. uh, but not have the responsibilities. Right. Um, whereas right. Will has never been able to have that. I think, you know, Will has had to walk the straight and narrow his whole life. Right. And right. he does it well. And if he resents he it, we don't know that. And and if he resents it, I, I can't say that I fully blame him. Like I said, I think there's, there's got to be a part of Will that goes, Harry's living in Malibu and he gets to have sunshine all the time and he gets right, to go right. to the beach he wants to do, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure there's a jealousy there. I'm but, sure. But that's a typical. Yeah. I mean, there's got to, yeah, it was like, even if he really loves the role and loves everything that he's like been born into. I mean, everybody's going to question themselves at some point, right? So he's going to question like, what is this all about? Like, is this really what my life is? Like, this seems kind of bizarre. <laughs> like, you know, he's going to, he's going to see that it, it's like, <laughs> it's, it's not weird and it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, but yeah. that's, where he landed <laughs> but well, well I think that that's again that's where the role it they're evolving it they're they're making mm -hmm. I mean what right. Kate showed up and I know this seems petty and it's me looking at her wardrobe again but seriously Kate showed up to some some engagement that she had and it but it had to do with sailing so she was wearing a pair of um white shorts and a uh, blue and white striped oh yeah uh, mm -hmm. sweater yeah Queen would never have shown up oh right yeah thing, yeah you know? But it was right. functional. She's got the legs, God knows. Um, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it met the purpose. She she was wearing what fit into what she was doing. Um, exactly. But it, she they are bringing a much more youthful, approachable, mm -hmm. I think is a good word. Much yeah, more that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm so sorry. Hold on a second. Jackie, you're too big for that now, honey. Please take it off. <laughs> Jackie, no, no, no. Take that off, please. She's trying on, a quick little sidebar, mm -hmm. my old, from when I was four years old, ballerina costume that I have inherited mine and my sister's costumes. And she's gone into my closet again, and she's going to rip the heck out of it in a second. Oh, no. Because you are a size eight, honey. You are twice <laughs> as big as that outfit. I need you to take it off, please. Please take it off, Jackie. Please, honey. Thank you so much. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, my God. <laughs> So um, that's so funny. Piper wanted to wear some of Esme's dresses. Uh, and again, Piper's four and a half, uh, Esme's two and a half. <laughs> I was like, so she actually did manage to fit into some 24 month old dresses, but they, she looked like Shirley Temple. It was hilarious because they're so short. Yes. <laughs> <Piper>. yes. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was like, well, she hasn't fully learned tap yet, but other than that, <laughs> <laughs> she like looks like Shirley. So what size again is Piper right now? So Piper is like a I don't know, anywhere from like a four to a six. Okay. Like the fives and sixes are all loose on her, but I like put her in anything. Anyway. I might so uh, my niece is coming. Jose's uh Jose's niece is coming not mm -hmm. this weekend, but the weekend after. And I'm gonna offer her a couple of um princess costumes that have been outgrown oh nice if they don't want them i will send you pictures and if you want Ooh. them i'm happy to send them to Piper. okay so she awesome can them. yeah so, um, so we'll see but Thank total you. sidebar okay so yeah, okay so. so um i'm gonna turn a little bit to television okay Did you see the new persuasion i'm very biased on this incredibly yeah, biased what's that? netflix yeah. persuasion is a jane austen novel oh no my no. favorite jane austen novel this is at least a third rendition that's been done in the last 25, 30 years. Mm -hmm. Only one of them has really stuck to the book. That, of course, was my favorite rendition. I loved, I loved that one. And um, was that the first one or the second one? No, I think it was like the second one. There was one that came okay. out. It just, it wasn't quite up to par. But this mm -hmm. last one that came out is a lot like the recent Emma that came out. And they're taking, and there's a lot of criticism. They People either love it or they hate it. The people that hate it are like myself. It's like, I'm a purist when it comes to Jane Austen's work. Right. Um, they, uh, they didn't stick true. They didn't stay true to the character of the, um, the character of the main character, if you will. Right, the right. Personality traits. Um, they didn't stick to the original love story. They really oh. put some, some interesting, inter interesting. I didn't find interesting. Right. 
So I was when I wasn't sure if you'd seen it. So like, what, no, I haven't, and I don't know the story, but it's like, was it? I mean, is there anything that still felt like it, they were basing it off the book, or like they just yes, took a the little bit. Story? Um, she so persuasion is she the, the main character, um, Anne. Anne was persuaded by a close friend, a friend of the family, not to accept the proposal of a young Navy. I don't remember what his rank was at the beginning. Um, mm -hmm. Eight years prior. They thought um, a, she was too young, which is kind of funny because she was, I think she was 17 or 18. And back then I didn't think that was too young. Yeah, that's not, yeah, yeah. But, um, but um, he wasn't high ranking enough in the Navy where he had money or he had anyone or anything to recommend himself to that her. Is. And they thought this is not a good match. <clears throat> um, she, uh, the, the cast of characters, her, like she's got a sister and her, and her dad are in incredibly vain I mean her father's mm -hmm. so into his looks it's not even funny and that's that's true to the book and it was true um yeah. this one too and then she's got another sister who is a hypochondriac and thinks she's dying all the time okay um yeah. but it's written well in the mm -hmm. original book and it's done well in the version that I really appreciate um with uh the the man the guy who plays the captain is uh Sharon Hines and he's great but anyway uh this one it, it just yeah, he comes back into her life eight years later and they kind of have to find out, are they still in love with each other or not? And they're both so guarded, they, they can't tell. So yes, the premise is there, but they really, they change so much they about change it. They, they, yeah, they, you know, they show her in the, in the back bedroom drinking wine, like by the bottle. Oh, good. And yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, Jane Austen did not write that. That's not. <laughs> so yeah. no, I wasn't sure if you've seen that. And and I've seen mm -hmm. that. And like I said, I've read a couple of articles recently too that, that say that the, these people, they're not sticking to the real spirit of Jane Austen. Right, right. You know, they're, they're rewriting their own. And, and and would Jane Austen approve? Well, we'll never know. Right, right. But um, Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, I'll have to, I'll have to watch it. And knowing... And like the fact that I'm someone who doesn't know what the real story is, see how it goes. Yeah, <laughs> like I, like it, it, I probably I'm, like it. <laughs> and, and, and exactly. If you come into it without know having known, exactly, without knowing what the real book is, you'd probably enjoy it. And it's a costume mm -hmm. drama. It is on Netflix, like I said. And I think, I think you might enjoy that. Um, <laughs> another question I was going to ask is, it's just such a blog topic. Yeah. Are you and I, are we magnets for Brits? <laughs> do, you, do you hear a British accent and absolutely drop everything so you can go talk to me? Oh, I got it. Like magnets to it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought you meant like do British things like come to us. And I was going to say, well, now or else I'd have like a British husband. <laughs> <laughs> but we have a radar up. Do but we am I? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd say yes. Uh, I, but I'm not always outspoken about it when I notice it. I am usually pretty like coy about it or just like, oh, like, where's that accent from? Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> like, I don't uh -huh. let them know that I'm an Anglo. <laughs> <laughs> so I ran into, I uh, went to brunch with a friend and she was late. In fact, she went to the Stacey, if you're listening, and I know you're not. But uh, she went to a whole other restaurant thinking, I'm like, no, you're at the wrong place. Oh, no. Um, so it's, it's actually, it's a tiny little French cafe. And we met there and there was a woman in there with a, a little boy. And I was holding the door open for her because he was in a stroller and it is not a stroller friendly world. I've always said that. Yeah, yeah. It's not a stroller friendly world. Um, and I hear her talking and she's going to get him a little sweet treat, like a chocolate croissant or something like that. And I can hear her talking. And, um, and so, I, so I want my in. I know she's yeah. funny, but I want my in. So I, I start it. trying to make googly eyes at the baby. I'm like, oh my God, you're so cute. Oh and mommy. And then I look at him and said, he's not going to smile at me today. And she said, no, no, we've just gotten back from England. And that's where my parents live. And she's going on and on talking. And uh, I said, yeah, I figured you were from England. I pick up the accent. And she said, yeah. And I said, so, so your parents are over there still. And she said, yeah. And I said, so what brings you to the United States? So we got into this conversation. Yeah, yeah. And of course I told her and I said, I said, well, I said, I don't mean to bother you. I said, I just, I'm a big Anglophile. I always say that I'm, I'm a big Anglophile. I love it. I actually started a small tea party business. She said, did you really? She said, there's no good place around here to get good tea. And I said, no, you couldn't be more right about that. Yeah. I said, I'll give you one recommendation. Um, mm -hmm. And I, and she was writing it down. She says, you know, she asked me, do you have a business card? I'm like, I'll be right back. Yeah, so I ran I my it. car and I grabbed a couple to give to her. I probably, probably never hear from her again. But she said when her it's mom still, does visit, they have no good place to go and get tea. 
Oh my and, gosh. Um, so, uh, so I don't know, hopefully she'll look me up or something like that, but I just, I, I think it's funny. It's like, no matter where I am, it's like, that's I'm, awesome. I hear, I hear well, it. No problem. <laughs> yeah. What's funny is that I didn't even realize it until like, yeah, you were making me think um, about it. So when we were, Piper and I were in the security line in Orlando uh, to go off to Indiana, um, we were waiting, like, you know, just at the, whatever, the very first part, like where you have to show the whatever TSA agent your ticket. Right. Right. You know? So we're standing in line for that. And then the, there's a, a husband and wife and a son like over to the, in the left lane or in the lane next to us and so but I noticed that they have burgundy colored passports now I know England's not the only one with burgundy ones I didn't know that. I, okay yeah, but I do know that they have burgundy ones so I was like trying to like look over because they weren't really talking so I was like Don't worry, I'm just trying to look at your passport <laughs> I know so I'm like looking over yeah and I saw the yeah and like I saw the front <laughs> part of it and said yeah yeah like Great Britain or whatever and so I and I was holding Piper of course because I'm always holding Piper and I told her I said again said hey those people over there and she goes yeah I go they live where the queen lives <laughs> so she goes and so then, so then she's like looking at him. And so then when I caught the mom's eye, I was like, sorry, she's looking at you because I told you that you live where the queen lives. <laughs> Did she respond? And they laughed and the, the dad was like, yeah, we do. He goes, we've never, we still haven't met her yet though. I like, don't oh, know. <laughs> Come here, cutie. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. But, Ponto yeah. has just joined us Ooh, this time now. Oh my right? gosh, Piper would love that. She corrects me all the time. Apparently, I don't say Encanto correctly. Like, if I try to say Encanto or whatever, she's like, it's Encanto. Like, Encanto. Yeah. Right, Encanto. Encanto. Right? All right, kiss, kiss, goodbye. Go, get out of here. She's also, that's Mirabelle's dress. And then there's- Yeah, that's Mirabelle, yeah. <laughs> Which apparently the way that, with the accents, the way they say Mirabelle, you don't really hear the L in it because I, Piper was talking about her the other day and I was like, oh, Mirabelle? And she's like, no, it's Mirabelle. Maribel. Like she refused yeah, yeah. to accept that there's an L in it. I'm like, all right. She's like, you're saying it wrong. I was like, all right, whatever. <laughs> hey, yeah. you were going to bring up something. I, I don't mean to circle back to the worlds, but you <laughs> had talked about there was something else. Um, Harry and oh, Mary. Well, oh yeah, that, but actually, hold on. I have two other things that popped up in my head. One is, one is TV. I finally can watch the third season of Victoria on oh. Prime. <laughs> like three years oh, right. I saw. yes 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 and yeah, you know so, that it's not coming back they have not renewed that they're not coming back to okay renew. I think yeah I was like it, which is fine I'm like half I maybe I'm only four episodes halfway through or something but it's so wonderful I, I I love it so much so that has been really good um and then what I also heard on my podcast that was royal related is apparently it's been reported that Fergie has bought uh a house townhouse whatever it is in Mayfair uh that's like five million pounds and uh she bought it as like an investment property for Beatrice and Eugenie or whatever but the uh I don't know the public the whatever the people are upset about it because uh whatever that like French chalet or whatever that they had that they sold apparently the owner of that like had trouble getting payment out of them for that and like so they're like so where's this money that she's like buying a house now <laughs> like and I'm like well who know it's not like she's putting down like five million cash right like I don't right. know like, I mean, who kind would, of mortgage yeah, she exactly. has <laughs> exactly M most likely most likely right and they claim like mm -hmm. and she claims like she's gonna rent it out and stuff so then like the podcast hosts are talking like how bizarre would that be like if you're like rent like staying in Fergie's like Airbnb type deal like wouldn't that be weird? and then they said they're like I wonder if she keeps her costumes there which I didn't know this is a thing apparently Fergie loves like dressing up in costume <laughs> so yeah. Fergie has a YouTube channel and oh. I'm just gonna recommend this and she reads children's books oh tea time so you should look into it because it might be something you want to plop Piper in front of. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Oh my yeah. goodness. And I wonder if those are the costumes that, yeah. uh, that they were talking Interesting. about. Maybe. So. Yeah. I'll have to look at it. And 
and because you said YouTube, so Piper's little cousin Esme uh, watches uh, you you know watches YouTube whatever all the little kids shows and stuff, and um, Piper never watches YouTube like over here. It's basically we're always like watching on the big TV, or if it is the iPad, it's like straight up Netflix Octonauts or whatever. And so right, right. Um, but so she was watching some of the stuff with Esme and she fell in love with a video, a song. And she's like, I want, she's like, I want to watch the stranger one that Esme had. It was like stranger, like, find out. it's called stranger danger. It's teaching kids all about stranger danger. And it's like this song, <laughs> but it's so ridiculous. So I talked about it at tea time last Friday and we were like picking it apart because it, it's the the idea is so like the video it's animated or whatever but the stranger is always just kind of like in like a dark shadowy figure it, they don't ever show an actual person or like tell you what they might look okay. like right right so but so it's like you know you might be at the story might be here whatever like and a stranger approaches and so here's what according to them here's what you're supposed to do you're supposed to yell stop you're not my mom. Call 911. Fire, fire. <laughs> so, and then, so they repeat that a bunch of times and then they explain. You tell the stranger, stop. You're not my mom. Like, you're not my dad. Right. Then you point to an adult nearby who has a phone and say, call 911 so that they know that's their responsibility. And then right. just shout, fire, fire. So someone comes to help you. Yeah. Now, as we pick this apart, <laughs> we're like, we're like, so telling a stranger to call 911, like a little kid, I don't know. I feel like you'd be like, what? Like, what, what are we talking about? And then they shout fire. So then we're talking about how like 911 is going to get all these calls. We're like, I don't know. Some kid told me there's a fire, but I don't know. I don't see the fire. <laughs> like they don't realize that's what they're supposed to be. Right, talking. right. <laughs> because it's also supposed to like run away or whatever run to a trusted yeah. adult yeah. yeah afterwards so so we were just laughing that we're like i don't think that's the best way to go about things but so then there was a video of course that was recommended after that one and it was boring and didn't have a song it was also animated but it was also made by like the i don't know association for, like prevention right or whatever yeah. and, you're, like, you're not professional lyricists no yeah no. yeah and there's was like literally it was teaching you that sometimes like there's stranger danger most strangers are good people but sometimes they're not and you can't tell the difference because they a lot of times they're friendly and they showed like how a stranger might have a dog and be like hey get in the car like look at my sweet dog right like that makes sense right <laughs> so, right so they're saying like make as much noise as you can and run away like yeah. so yeah. you're not trying to tell anyone that there's a fire <laughs> there's not <laughs> like you can run screaming for help or whatever but um but yeah, yeah I mean like, but they're so helpless I mean they're so little anybody could could grab Piper yeah and she can't get away and same with Jackie I've, I've tried to explain the same to Jackie too and and she doesn't understand she she clams up and she gets very scared when I just try to tell her about it she's too sensitive oh. I'm like Ugh. oh my gosh P yeah Piper well so she's not yeah great about stranger danger as far as like it applying to her actual life because she loves lots of strangers um yes. She fell in love with this random guy that was like on our flight back who was sitting next to me. And she like didn't barely talk to him the whole time until like we land and she's like showing him her stuffed animals and whatever. And he was just like being nice. He's like, I don't know, probably like 50s or whatever. And she, he's like, so she just keeps like looking at him and like doing weird things. And then when we get up because she picked out our seats. We sat in the very last row because that's where she wanted to sit. Right. <laughs> so as we're waiting to get up, she crosses over me and she holds his wrist. Like he's holding his bags, but she's like, I'm going to hold his hand. Like we're walking with him now. And so, and he of course is just like, oh, like, you know, that's cute or whatever. And then she thinks it's hilarious to be like, daddy, let's go daddy. Yeah, she does this to people too, which like makes them feel real weird. <laughs> right, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. Me feel weird because I'm like, 
I'm sorry. I know it's like she gets that you're not her dad. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So <laughs> but we walked with him like the whole way until like we had to split up at baggage claim. And she held his hand the whole time. And then she legitimately cried when she had to like hug him goodbye and like wanted to go with him and wanted to go Aww. with her friend. It's like she <laughs> gets attached so hard. <laughs> it's like the cat snowball. <laughs> But um do that. I'm yeah. sorry. Sorry, that's right. Yeah, it's like you <laughs> grab, grab a drink. It's okay. I do when I'm completely out. <clears throat> I see my water over there. Yeah, it's like go grab it. Grab it, grab one it. Second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, post nasal drip is murder, I yeah. tell you. Um but but yeah, but I, I have started to notice so it's interesting though because piper every once in a while there is a stranger that she doesn't want to talk to so i start to wonder like maybe she does have a weird little like sixth sense about her that like she yeah. can tell you yeah. know all the ones that are like cool to cling to or whatever and then like if someone's not cool in her book for whatever right. reason like <clears throat> nope she's not gonna hug them she's not gonna yeah. be their friend yeah well so and Jack yeah. is so trusting and she'll, you know, just admit, I think I've told you this too. She's like, she'll tell people the latest is, um, she'll be like, that's my mom. Her name is Nancy. <laughs> you know, it's like, she has a hurt foot. <laughs> <laughs> she has tea on the computer with Miss Amy Mitchell. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> like Jackie, nobody knows who that is. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, well, that's, yeah. Piper's always telling everyone about her friends at school, or like mm -hmm. naming, like by their name or whatever. And like, Tiffany is my best friend. Okay. Yes, exactly. <laughs> strange. Exactly. I, I, other parents get that when you have outgoing children. Other parents get that, and they'll just feed into it and be like, "Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah right, and that's right. what you look for. Right, that's but that's so. For. Yeah, that's funny. But um, that brings up another point to the whole the original Stranger Danger video is that we're like, I feel like they're setting up kids to learn, like certain kids to learn how this might be funny to do to my real mom or dad out in public. Oh gosh. <laughs> to be like, the very mischievous not, ones, not yeah. my mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my Can you God. imagine? <laughs> yeah, and then, and then we, oh, we were also at tea time, we were laughing like, what if it's just because someone's like, you're not my dad. And it's like, it's their stepdad. <laughs> right. Right, and then and then nine one one and the SWAT team shows up and everything. Next thing you know, right. you're shot in the leg and right, right. <laughs> yeah, that's just so, what you mean. yeah. So we just had fun, yeah, picking it apart. Uh, but it was yeah. But so anyway, yes, outgoing children and Piper does know because she's I've told her for a while she because she'll want to like either stay in the car on her own or go. I don't know if I say she needs to stay really close where I can see her, you know. And so without wanting to freak her out to where she's just right. terrified all the right. time, I'm right. like, well, I was like, I was like, well, someone might come and take you. And she's like, why? And she's like, why? And I was like, I don't know, because you're really fun and cute. Like, who wouldn't want to take you? <laughs> like, you know, it's like, right. they might be a bad person. They're going to steal you or whatever. So it's walking a very careful. fine line. Of yeah. So she, we got to so teach them. But yeah, she'll reference it sometimes now. Uh, and be like, well, isn't someone going to take me? <laughs> you you take them shopping and they go hiding in the in the racks of shirts. Yeah, because yes. I just, we all the one do. time. Yeah, I was like, yeah, that happened like last Christmas. And I had to like go to the front of the store and they had to like call her. And I was like, oh, my God, seriously. <laughs> I know. But but every kid does that. Jose tells me that he did that to his yeah. mom. And I remember, yeah. Oh my I, I don't Nothing. remember getting lost to the point of being called, but I remember it was definitely fun playing in the mess. Yeah. <laughs> Always to go and hide in there, absolutely. Uh, yeah, hmm. or just like run, run through them, run under them, yes. whatever. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But of course, but, but you you don't want to scare them, but you need them to know. Uh, it's serious. It's just yeah, and it's a yeah. fine line, especially like I said, I have a sensitive child. I've I've tried to get Jackie to, I'm like practice that yell no or yell stop yeah, yeah, yeah. and she she starts crying oh. 
because she, she doesn't have the ability to yell at anybody. She just right, doesn't right, want to right. yell at anybody. She's oh my so gosh. sweet and so cute. Oh my oh. God. So Jackie and I cooked a cake the other day. Yeah. I had this almond flour I wanted to use up. So I made these almond flour cakes. Mm-hmm. Well, then we went into the office to do stuff and she closed the door. So I didn't hear the timer go off. Oh no. So I go in and I didn't burn the cakes, but they were too brown, too brown. Yeah. And they sunk in the middle a little bit. So, and I know where she gets these things, I swear. So, so I'm like, Jackie. And she comes in and I said, oh no. I said, look, I said, the cakes got too brown. She said, they're too brown. And I said, yeah. I said, and they're sunk in the middle. She goes, it doesn't taste good. I said, I don't know. I said, but all I know is it's too brown. She turns around to leave the room and she goes, hashtag fail. <laughs> I laughed so hard. I'm like, where did you get that? So she funny. watches the Disney Bake Off show. And I think somebody used that one time or a couple of times or something like that. But she'll just say these things that are just oh my so gosh. Crazy. Where did you get that? That's hilarious. Yeah, I do. I've been asking Piper a lot when she'll say certain things. I'm like, where did you hear that? Like, yeah, her, yeah. her latest one, which I can't remember now where she did say she heard it, but she'll go, how dare you? <laughs> she says like she knows it's ridiculous yes like, how dare you close my door <laughs> Jackie will tell me sometimes that I'm cheeky and I think she got that from Mary Poppins cheeky that's amazing cheeky. Yeah, they, yes cheeky. yeah I'm that's cheeky. hilarious oh my gosh like, what does that even mean right right like, I don't know oh, sometimes wow. I still have to look that stuff up so I got my I just gotta show you real quick yes isn't that gorgeous Ooh, that is oh, oh man that makes me want fall uh-huh yeah. Oh man. I know. Yeah, every so yeah, funny. people people here were like, oh, when you went to Indiana, did it feel like fall? I was like, no. It's no, still summer. It's still summer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like it's not but, yeah, just because it's not an oven doesn't exactly. feel like fall. Just because it's above <laughs> the equator doesn't yeah. I gotta show you there's one page. So they always highlight six teas mm-hmm. in six gorgeous teacups. And they'll tell you what the teacups are, but I have to put my glasses on for this. But I thought of you for this. Because Ooh. every one of those is a chai. Oh. So garden apothecary chai. Okay. Um, pumpkin chai mm-hmm. from the Chicago Tea House, by the way. All right. Cochin masala chai, rubus chai organic, spiced nice. masala chai, and vanilla chai. Mm. All chais. Yeah. Nice. So I thought about right. that for you. So maybe, the- yeah, to get some yeah the spice the warm for the fall and everything yeah 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 they, they looked they look amazing so yeah like I said this one just came in I mean I love the black and oh, white Isn't that yeah cool? that's it's sweet just, that's really so pretty pretty yeah uh, yeah I just poured the husband my husband's like do you ever read that I'm like no I just look at all the pretty pictures yeah yeah you're like no magazines aren't to read, <laughs> <laughs> to read oh my gosh I guess I hadn't seen this one yet look at the little hats Oh my God. Oh, that's so cute. Treats and stuff. That's it's really cute. Sweet. Such good okay. ideas. So yeah. tea industry, <laughs> excuse me again. Yeah. Um, I get about two requests every week mm-hmm. and no follow through. So I haven't had a tea since May, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. April. It somewhere. has been hot. Yeah. It has been hot. I did have one girl call me and say, you know, really interested. What are your prices? I was thinking about doing this outside. And I said, when? In August. <laughs> I said, okay, well, there are three things I need to consider. And the first of all is, is anybody going to want hot tea right. in August? Mm-hmm. Uh, two, keeping the food fresh. A lot yeah. of tea sandwiches have cream cheeses, creams, meats and cheeses on them right right and three if you're doing it out she was thinking about doing it like at a park I said I have to have at least one outlet yeah yeah one reliable outlet to boil right oh I didn't think about that so that was a bye-bye yeah 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 oh my goodness yeah I, I haven't had anybody book I don't yeah yeah well speaking of the tea business uh my website is currently broken. So it was, it was, uh, I was having issues with it updating like the store part of it, WooCommerce or whatever, uh, on the back end. And I was talking about a tea time a couple weeks ago. And so Trevor and Kat were like, well, we know somebody. So like he's helping me with it, but in help it, like we're in the middle of it now. So like 
what we did though, basically so far, ended up like breaking it further until oh, like I can get back to it. So like, because people were able to go to the site, but they weren't able to put any items in the cart. Okay. And that, so it's like they weren't able to check out. But right now, like you can't even get to the site. So like, and that's not this guy's fault. It's like I don't have time to get back to it. So now it's like I just have a broken website. So oh, no. um, <laughs> I'm trying to get back, yeah, to it. Uh, obviously, it's not great to have like a site that's completely down. No, not but... when you're supposed to take orders from it. No, absolutely. Right, not. right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I uh, am, yeah. But I'm, I'm taking orders. If you contact me for it, like I've got and <laughs> I people still asking me for stuff. <laughs> yeah, call Amy directly, please, for exactly. orders. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, but um, yeah, but it's just been so interesting. Like, uh, like the guy, he felt so bad that he couldn't get it fixed right away. I was like, I was like, he's like, thank you for being so understanding. I'm so sorry. I was like, I was like, I just assumed this is the nature, like this is the nature of the beast. Like every time that you do something that's like web related, technology related, trying to troubleshoot crap, it never goes the way it's supposed no. to. It There's doesn't. always a surprise in some weird coding and whatever. Absolutely. So right now we're trying to figure out which coding it is on like a plugin that is messing up oh, WooCommerce. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You, you definitely need a tech person for something yeah. like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Oh my goodness. So, anyway, wow. so that's been the fun over in my <laughs> world. <laughs> technology is so frustrating it can be such a great thing and so frustrating and i know i'm not the first one to say that so right right yeah. but still yeah so, so right. but, well it is obvious we have been apart yes. for a very long time i know that's right we've gone just under two hours here uh-huh yeah, um, yeah, so <laughs> so where do we go from here we yeah. um like i said we've tried so many teas mm -hmm. um but if you come across a good one, you know yeah. I will take some off your shoulder. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, did you ever try the green coconut as an iced tea? Yeah. So I made it. It's literally in the refrigerator. <laughs> I haven't had it yet. <laughs> it's so good. I actually, you know what I actually do? I I, I blend it with a black because I just love my black tea. I put oh, okay. a sachet of black tea in. Yeah, yeah. A sachet of the green coconut, and it. I'm telling you, it is the best thing for summer. It is one of the most refreshing teas. I love it. Okay. Um, I've been really surprised to find it on I've, the store shelf at Giant, which is like your Publix. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. And so, and, and I grab it when I do. It just, it's not something I would do in the winter. I don't know. I don't think of coconut in the winter. Yeah. I yeah. I wouldn't either. But what's yeah. that? I'm like, now I'm like, oh my God, I forgot I had that. Like, I would have been drinking that for this yeah. whole tea it's, time. It, well, it should be plenty iced by now. Very <laughs> yeah, refreshing. Yeah, it is. Save for a real hot day. <laughs> yeah. Take it out with you. Very good. So, yeah, um, but well, this was wonderful. It was so good to catch up with you. Yes, yeah, so it was August. So next is September. And yeah, well, now you've got me thinking about chais. So I'm like, right? I'm sure. Yes, yeah, I was like, right I there. bet, and, and no offense to the tea magazine, but I'm like, I bet I can find some like, I'll bet weirder, you can. some weirder chais out there. Like I've already had pumpkin and vanilla. <laughs> and I haven't been much into chai, but I think I could be coerced. I, if I do a chai, I do like it with milk um because mm -hmm. it it blends well with the spices and the cinnamons that are usually in there um right. I think, so, did you remember the chocolate chai that i had for a while you did send me some i, okay. I, I think that was one like, that was fried yeah because it's like a really spicy chai with but also with chocolate so well I was and like, apparently i haven't sent you the orange chocolate mm -mm. so nope. i need you to I try that, that one too good. So yeah, even yeah. If it's not three teas, maybe we go down to one tea now that we share. Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe, yeah. And something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Always royal news. I will tell you, um, I think I've told you this before, I get those cute tins, uh, the British tins from the Amon yes. tea. So they come out in October. And okay. it's one of the best English blends, English breakfast blends. I, I don't know what it is. Some people just make it really well and some people don't. Yeah. Do so they have like a new tea tin every year or something? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. So I'll send you, I, 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 like I said, I always look for those. They come out, they bring all the Christmas stuff out. And so it's, there's a lot of German stuff, believe it or not. But um, mm -hmm. it's an army base. Mm -hmm. Fort Belvoir, which is close to this, is an army base. And there is a massive army base in Germany, in Stuttgart. 
So a lot of these people have been to Germany or right. they come from Germany. And so they get their Christmas gifts and their whatever, or what they're yeah, used yeah. to themselves, or they need them to be able to ship them uh, back to Germany. Um, right. Like I said, come October, I start looking for that because it is, it's my favorite. It's one of my, if it's going to be in a bag, that's one of my favorite blends. Um, I love it. Okay. You no, know, and okay. excellent with milk, excellent by itself. I'm drinking my way right now through, through two, which I know I've shown you this, but I'll pull this out real quick. Yeah. And they're, they're not my favorite blend, but. But I'm doing it. And, <laughs> I do it. and it was this one. Ooh, yeah, yeah. That's a nice one. It is. So that's from that? Yeah. From I last these, year? A, a friend of mine sent these, but you I could have found these at World Market because they sent it's oh, um, okay. It's traditional. So this one's gorgeous. I love this. Ooh. Too. <laughs> oh, that is really. Yeah, it's that's really very pretty. pretty. And sometimes I found it in like a Tiffany blue. Ooh. and yeah and they'll have Love different it. whatever but it's not my favorite blend of black tea mm -hmm. um so speaking of tea in italy yes i had to travel with my tea mm -hmm. <laughs> i was right. very grateful that um there was an electric kettle and that's just gonna ask in, the place in florence and in the apartment that we rented nice. um, in rome so i was fortunate with that very fortunate because right. tea drinking is just not it's not a big thing in italy and um, yeah, yeah. they do like iced tea but they don't oh, interesting coffee. Yeah. And um, okay. so, yeah. Um, so I'm trying to get through that and get through that stash, but I need to order some other good tea. So I am going to be on the lookout for something new. Okay. Have okay. Try something I think we both might enjoy. Um, I think it's, I don't know whose turn it is to host, but if you find something, let me yeah. know. We'll see yeah, yeah. in September. Um, I just had an MRI on Monday for my foot again. The mm -hmm. ligament in my foot has still not healed. Um, I'm, I'm now horribly suspicious that it is now happening in my left foot. Um, no. I know, it's terrible. Um, but he's now sending me to, uh, the expert surgeon in the region. And, um, so we're going to talk about that. I might be, might be having surgery. I just want to get the thing fixed for God's sake. I yeah, yeah. To have a functional foot. I would say, how long has this been now? Over a year and a half. She's but, but let me just, let me say it's been yeah. hurting since two springs ago. Mm -hmm. When we took our two vacations last year and it was killing me. And my husband's like, would you, you know, mom, I'm a mom. I, I right, never right. go to the doctor. It's the kids first. And I don't want to waste right, my right. time. I'm going to lunch with somebody. It's not going to the doctor. Exactly. Yeah. Um, talked me into it. I went to the doctor. And so he twice tried to say, I just needed our support. But when I showed him the pain is at the top of the foot, as well as underneath. And mm -hmm. there's like this unnecessary space now between two of my toes. Mm. Um, I'm, and he's like, oh, oh, you probably have this, let's get an MRI. So I think I started, I want to say I started wearing the boot in February and it may have been sooner mm. than that. It may have been like December. I may have been mm -hmm. in that boot since December. By the way, that smelled really good at the end of every hot day in Italy. I just want to get my hand there. It smelled great. Um, yeah. What do you do? Bring like travel Febreze? <laughs> I should have, I should have. Um, just let it air out. Yeah, just let it air out. <laughs> and um, anyway, <clears throat> so here I am with bronchitis, mm -hmm. trying post nasal drip and trying not to cough every two minutes. And if you've ever right. had an MRI, you cannot move. You cannot. Oh, move. I've never had one, but yeah. I oh my God. That's, so I'm yeah. in there and I'm like, and I can feel the tickle. And, I'm and that's like, like even worse because you know you're not supposed to. I, cough, so you know, like, I'm laying there the whole time. Please, God, help me! Please, uh -huh. God, help me! Mm -hmm. And the tears are just rolling down. My oh my God! And I finally, I just can't do it anymore. And I, and I start coughing. <laughs> and the guy comes over and he's like, "Um, that last image was blurry. We're gonna have to. Is everything okay?" And I'm like, "I got bronchitis. I'm trying not to cough." <laughs> it was worst thing but I did not want to put it off I did not want to call and put that off it took a month just to get that MRI it's going to be oh, right. a month before I see the specialist <sighs> this is just ongoing yeah. so but my kids returned Stephen is already back in college William is getting ready to start uh the community college um on the same day that Jackie goes back to school so 22nd of August woo, woo. nice That's there you go yeah <laughs> so um I would love to fill that with a tea time with you Yes. Start stocking up on all that royal gossip. And yeah, uh, I know. Yeah. I know. I need to start like whatever. 
collecting it actually somewhere as I see things or hear things instead of just like relying on my brain. I know because my because I I'll be to, the day before I'm like oh, sorry, I was going to talk about this and this and this and then I'm on here and I'm like uh. right <laughs> like, right I, I know I, I know. send the articles to my I text the articles to myself when it has a little send thing if I come across it I text it to myself so I can go back and rely on those. Oh uh, okay okay that's <laughs> fine. So that way you thank you thank you. You don't have to that's write it down or have extra scraps of paper or anything like that. Right right just text yourself yeah. smart. Yes, Very yes, yes. Smart. So, okay, cool. I'm dying to go well, up your staircase. This is. Hey, I know, me too. <laughs> what is this up in the back? I can't yeah, tell. Yeah, apparently anything. that it is. Uh, I think it's the Star Wars gold thing. Um, C3PO. Yeah. I'm ashamed of I, I didn't know. Trevor, Trevor spotted it first. <laughs> I, I just thought I just found a pretty staircase. Except that from where I'm standing, it looks like it's got a skirt. <laughs> yeah, I, to me, it looks like a tri pod type deal like it's just interesting like half the body i don't really know like yeah. a gold mannequin to me with a skirt on so yeah yeah mannequin. so anyway for, yeah i don't know but yeah i do have a random gold yeah person <laughs> thing up there interesting Very yeah interesting. but look at look at my pretty entryway it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous <laughs> for everything yeah it's so, so yeah, pretty the whole, yeah yes i love it i love, I love it. it yeah I want I want a pointless entryway table with flowers on it. <laughs> <laughs> and come Christmas time, take out those um, banana plants Ooh, and yeah, banana yeah, Christmas trees. Yeah, oh, that's right. I'm talking to Mrs. Christmas here. Yeah, I know, I know. I and like, the oh garland down. Oh, absolutely. Uh -huh. I'm seeing it, I'm getting the visual. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, uh, I'm like, uh oh, it's already August. I'm thinking, yeah, fall, Christmas. <laughs> slow down, slow down. It started my yeah my. <laughs> The Christmas crazy is coming out. <laughs> My goodness gracious. All right, honey. Well, okay. I would like to talk with you again in September. Yes, absolutely. So let's figure out a date. Um, yes. Yeah. We'll pick a date. Okay. Good. Wonderful. All right. All right. Well, I will see you later. Thanks for anyone who hung out with us this long. <laughs> this long, exactly. <laughs> That's great. All right. Well, cheery bye. That's right. Bye. Ta-ta right. for now. Bye. <laughs> Bye.